Apple is coming for Nvidia. See, Nvidia has been this undisputed king of AI. Thanks to the investments that they made for accelerated computing, even back then when people were not doing any AI, Nvidia was predominantly this gaming PCs or the chips that powered this gaming PCs GPUs graphical processing unit. And that has paid dividends for Nvidia now because AI artificial intelligence, which is basically deep learning requires these accelerated computing frameworks like PyTorch enables that. But that probably might change the monopoly of Nvidia might probably change not maybe massively, but at least for the consumer level, it might change thanks to another very expensive computer from Apple. Apple today, uh, probably yesterday, whenever you're watching this, announced its latest chip in the Apple Silicon, which is an ARM Pro based chip. And M4 is the new chip. And one of the very important things in M4 is that they have decided to make this a chip primarily for AI. And they have enabled accelerated computing. You can see here, that in M4, there are four performance cores and it is next generation ML accelerators are available. Six efficiency cores, next generation ML accelerator. So which means you can use this with really powerful machine learning or AI acceleration for accelerated computing. Now you might wonder who makes these softwares for me to run? I mean, you need Nvidia GPUs, for PyTorch, maybe not exactly, but NVIDIA GPUs are the most preferred for PyTorch, let's say, or if you have got AMD Rock, that's a different thing. So what, what do I do if I got, let's say M3 or M4 or this kind of powerful chip? That's where Apple has been pretty smart, pretty open, very unconventional for Apple. So they have released this framework called MLX. It's a framework just like, you know, a lot of other these frameworks that you have got for deep learning, but what they have also very cleverly done is not only they have enabled MLX, which is very easy and simple for you to use it. If you have got on device like with Apple Silicon machine, all you have to do is pip install MLX. But what they have also done is they have enabled the community. Look at this community, 1,227 members at this point. I know like pretty much there are some people who dedicatedly convert or port any new large language model into an MLX model. and this community is pretty strong, like super strong. You've got Google Gemma models, you've got Mixtral models, Mistral models, and pretty much like IBM Granite came recently and IBM Granite is there. So pretty much any model that comes completely new, brand new, gets ported into MLX model very soon. That means MLX models can run on Apple Silicon machines. Now, when you say Apple Silicon machines, it could be M1, M2, M3. Now, Apple is enabling consumers with M4, which is really powerful with powerful neural engine, powerful performance score and all these things. And it can enable these ML accelerators. So we just have to wait and see how the performance might be. But I think this is like a master stroke to take on the consumer market of Nvidia, especially if you want really a strong and powerful machine. I know a lot of people who love doing AI locally on their computer, especially large language models, tend to buy the 128 GB RAM of Apple because MLX is not, it doesn't have separate like graphics memory and, uh, and the CPU memory like Nvidia GPU and you don't have that big Nvidia GPU for consumer grade machines. So you would need like Nvidia data centers for that. So I know a lot of people already tend to buy that machine 128 GB machine for M3 Max, but now M3 Max is an old story. It's history. Apple has officially announced M4, that too for iPad. Imagine the number of models that you can run. So how is Apple really planning to take on Nvidia on device LLMs? There are three important components for on device LLMs. The first thing you need a powerful hardware that can run on device. One of the reasons human pin got negative reviews from people like MKBHD is every time it sends the signal to server and get it back. That means it has to hit an API. It needs an active internet connection 
and so and so. so that's why subscription and all these exist. It's the same problem with Rabbit, but they don't charge subscription. But if you have got a powerful enough hardware in your hand or probably on your lap, then you can do on device LLM on device large language model inference. First, you need a powerful hardware and powered by M4 chip. Second, you need those large language models. You need latest large language models available in the ecosystem. That is your MLX community and you need a framework to run all these things and that is MLX in Python. So the three important elements to have consumer hardware run these large language models on device is completely enabled by Apple and that is going to explode the AI community. In fact, Apple acknowledges that you can see the most powerful neural engine ever. M4 has a blazing fast neural engine, an IP block in the chip dedicated to acceleration of AI workloads. Talks about 38 trillion operations per second, faster than the first neural engine. I don't know why are they comparing it first neural engine, but the most important thing is together with the next generation ML accelerators in CPU, which we saw in the performance score, like you can go see here. So it is available as part of the performance core. It's available part of the efficiency core. And then you have got the GPU and then you have got the separate neural engine. So now Apple is saying when you combine this with the next generation ML accelerator CPU, the higher performance GPU, the higher bandwidth unified memory, which is what this combined GPU, CPU, all this memory together like 128 GB, the neural engine makes M4 an outrageously powerful chip for AI. And probably I think this is the first time I've seen Apple using AI in a press release. I don't remember AI being used as a word in the last Apple announcement WWDC, but I think this is the first time they're announcing it. Probably it's a precursor for the upcoming WWDC Worldwide Developer Conference event, which approximately happens around in September, I guess. And with AI features in iPad OS, like live captions for real-time audio captions, and a visual lookup which identifies objects in videos and photos. The new iPad Pro allows users to accomplish amazing AI tasks quickly on device. And then it talks about a bunch of other things. The most important thing is the neural engine in M4 is Apple's most capable yet and is the power, more powerful than any neural processing unit in AI PC today. It's a, it's a very weird benchmark that they've used here. Uh, you don't know whether they're referring to GPUs, are they referring to NVIDIA PCs? I don't know what are they referring to, but let's say they've got something. So ultimately, if you want to do inference on device, and this aligns with Apple's probably the broader vision or the broader marketing message that they've always been talking about. Privacy on device, your data doesn't leave the device that you are using, whether it is a laptop, whether it is the watch, whether it is the phone, everything happens on device. And I think with a chip as powerful as M4, I think it's not going to be just inference because they are continuously talking about accelerated computing. I think you will be able to build and fine tune models, which is already available. Like if you go to MLX, you can see fine tuning codes pretty much like there are a lot of examples for you to go see how easy it is to do fine tuning. And I've seen people doing fine tuning using MLX locally on their machine, even though I've not tried it yet. So I think this is, this is the best. If you are already on Apple Silicon ecosystem, I think this is the best time to jump into MLX ecosystem. And I'm definitely very happy to see uh, Apple taking on NVIDIA. I mean, Apple is another expensive company. NVIDIA is another, let's say, monopolistic company, but it's the clash of titans and uh, competition is good for consumers. And I love to see this healthy competition in AI chip industry, which I don't know. I'd, sometimes I think that maybe Intel and AMD are not capitalizing enough to take on NVIDIA. I think maybe they are trying. I've seen a couple of Intel chips with really good performance. Um, I've seen some announcements, but not necessarily with the computers that you have already got. And uh, if you have got, let's say, Apple Silicon machine, um, maybe it seems like Apple is going to focus heavily on on-device AI. And that is essentially good for you because you don't have to pay for a subscription and a lot of applications can unblock critical AI use cases without the data leaving your computer. I hope this was 
useful to you in learning about Apple's new announcement, which came like a couple of hours or days back. See you in another video. Happy prompting.